Reggie. Yeah, there we go. How are you doing? Good. How was your uh, dance thing last night? I just carried on to this morning. Okay, our next upgrade we're going to be doing is on this Metallica Premium. It's Robbie's baby right here, very nice machine. Uh, we're going to be changing out the fluorescent light bulb that's in the back glass. We're going to be replacing it with this handy dandy LED version that fits up in the back glass with little modification. Now there has been some uh, questions and uh, there's uh, some stuff on the internet you can find on there. There's, there's a couple different versions of these LED uh, tubes that you can get. Uh, you can find them on eBay, you can find them at your uh, favorite local uh, pinball parts store on the interwebs. Um, and they range for prices of you know, from $50 or so to about $5, depending on what you get. The thing is that there's two or maybe more versions of these LED tubes. And why that makes a big difference is how you're going to uh, isolate the power in the back box, meaning are you going to use the ballast, are you not going to use the ballast. Uh, you're most likely not going to use the starter in either application, uh, but there was still a lot of uh, questions that was left open, and you know, from talking with, we got these through Marco Specialties, um, and uh, we're talking with them and finding out some stuff on the uh, from the maker. Uh, we will indeed be move, removing the starter as well as the ballast, and totally isolating it from the uh, circuit when we install this bolt. Okay, the system is the spike system, um, and here's our fluorescent bulb. In case uh, some of you out there don't know what, what the parts are that we're, I was talking about earlier, this is the starter. This is what kicks on the, uh, the bulb, and then your balance is up here. It's a little small transformer. You can see that right there on the top. Now, depending on what machine you're looking at, we got a white star here next to it. This is the uh, Simpsons Pinball Party. Uh, the ballast is located in a different part of the head unit or the back box, but regardless, it's still located in the back box. It's not like you're trying to find a transformer for a doorbell. Maybe you guys ever tried to do that, you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, so <laughs> you'll be able to find it somewhere here locally in the back box. You're not gonna have to hunt around for it. So the uh, ballast will be isolated. You can either keep it in there in the machine or you can take it out. It's up to you, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, and so we'll go ahead and uh, take this light bulb out after I power down the game. Down here. Now be careful because the uh, bulb could be a little hot. What was that that you removed? These are just the little tabs that keep the bulb in place. Okay. May or may not need that depending on your application once you've installed the other light. Okay, so now on, also another note so on this machine, there's no tabs on here. Uh, there's none of these cardboard tabs on the older machines like Simpsons over there or maybe Ripley's. Uh, they'll have these cardboard tabs, and maybe we can put a picture on there later on or something like that. But if you have the machine, you know what I'm talking about. You just have, all you have to do is have to flip up the cardboard tabs to align the uh, holes and take the light out. But on this particular system, all you have to do is just rotate it about 90 degrees and out comes the bulb. Okay, so we removed the fluorescent tube. Now we're gonna remove the starter. Much like the tube, you're just gonna rotate it and then pull it out. Easy as pie. Earlier we were talking about the different types of fluorescent tubes that are available and stuff like that. Uh, the ones that we picked up from Marco, uh, they require power on both sides. Some of them require power only on one side. These require power on both sides. That makes it convenient, so all we have to do when we bypass the, bal uh, the ballast here is uh, there's no more rewiring or anything like that. We don't take anything from this side and put it all over on one side or the other. Everything's already wired up for what we need to use for this application. So Stern, when they put these uh, these acorn nuts on here, uh, they uh, they put an adhesive in there. So even if you were to try, try to untwist them, you're just going to end up you know twisting the wires around. So it's just best off. And there's plenty of slack in there, so it's just best off. You just go ahead and 
cut both of them. It doesn't matter if you do it one at a time or both at the same time, just like that, because two wires will be put together and two wires are going to be uh, not put into the to the uh, circuit, if that makes sense. That, that's these two wires. Let's see if I can isolate them here from the ballast. These two wires right here, we're just gonna go ahead and bend them up out of the way right now. The ones we want is this red wire here, and this black wire here. All right, that's what we want. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the sheathing off there, solder it, and then uh, we'll uh, solder them together, of course. Put some heat shrink over there so they won't short out or anything like that, and uh, we'll be done on that. Okay, so we have unsheathed the uh, two leads here for power. Like I said, uh, the leads that come from the transformer have already been isolated. We're gonna go ahead and slip uh, in these back just a little bit, slip a uh, heat shrink on there so they'll be protected. It's really not necessary, it's an over precaution, I guess you'd say. So there's no power going to it anymore, so it's not gonna do anything, but just in case it comes in contact with, you know, a board or, you know, whatever. Never, never can be too careful. Now, if you don't have uh, any type of heating source, like a light or anything like that with you, uh, what you can use is a soldering iron. It's not the uh, most efficient way of doing it, but it'll work. So. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is tin the leads on this. Um, take it away from the game here. I'm sure Robbie doesn't want anything on his game. Sometimes stuff can splatter. Ten like so. All right. Inspect them. Make sure I got solder all over there. Ample amount. Good to go. Now, of course, before you solder it, I want to get the heat shrink on there. All right, so uh, we've tinned the wires. I have an alligator uh, clip holding them in there, kind of like my third little hand right there. And uh, then we're gonna solder those two together. So there's a, a couple other reasons why uh, someone may want to do this. Um, first, it's brighter, nicer looking, of course, uh, all that. Uh, there's a shield on the back of this, so there's no light one behind it, but on the fluorescent, fluorescent uh, actually gives off a little bit of UV over time that can prematurely age the PCBs back here and all the little components and whatnot. Um, so there's that. Uh, if you're gonna have the game for a long time, you probably care about stuff like that. And then, of course, there's a power consumption. We're all Earth friendly, right? Yeah, it's uh, Earth Day today, actually, right? Or Earth Day or something like that, yeah. 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 And uh, so anyway, um, uh, with the fluorescent, uh, you're consuming more power with, when you drop it into an LED, then you're uh, consuming about 40% less power. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's definitely less, about yeah. 40%. Nice. Let's put the back glass back on and see what it looks like. Okay. I put the uh, bottom and the top on one keyring. Oh, okay. I'll definitely have to get two of these. 
Mike right, said, so I think uh, Mark will drop the prize, but don't quote me on that one. <laughs> Let's turn off some of these lights. You got the light out there, babe? Meryl. Oh, yeah. The aesthetics look so much better. Definitely. Oh my god, that looks so much better. It just makes it pop so much more. Yep. Yeah, like looking at these ones, it just looks dull almost in comparison. Awesome.